I was hoping to see some jumbos, but who knows, maybe in the next part of the drive, otherwise almost certainly one of the next few drives, maybe tomorrow morning. We're going to head back into our signal area, um, sort of towards two hours down direction, past quarantine, not far from Wild Earth Camp, and just see what the evening brings. Let's go look around. And what day is it? Is it Tuesday today? Yes, the bomb is coming tomorrow. Thank you. I wasn't quite sure the days get a little bit mixed up sometimes out here. It's early in the week, there's still lots of time for big animals to make their appearances. Ahina. And this might even well be the same Ahina we saw this morning. Just have to turn the car around. <laughs> we'll follow this one for a bit. Like I said, it might actually be the same Ahina from this morning. It was coming in exactly the other direction, or coming from the other direction, and heading back in that same way now. this one for a while it looks like it's just gonna saunter down the road. 
Still quite a full belly as well, so again suggesting it's the same one from this morning. And maybe just heading back to wherever it found food last night just to check out the same area again. Okay, and just to be a bit more specific, this is a spotted ahina. Of course also get the brown ahina in this area which we don't see, well, I'd say almost never. Very rare to see them in the Kruger area. You see them in other parts of South Africa more. Kalahari, for instance. Vilansburg, up in the mountainous area in the Drakensburg, you see brown hyenas more. And then, of course, in sort of northern eastern or, or the northern parts of East Africa, North Africa, you get the striped hyena as well. But by far the most common and prevalent species across uh, most of Africa is the spotted hyena, the species we're looking at now. What she's doing. I'm guessing it's a she just from the size. Ahinas, it's almost impossible to distinguish male and female from each other once they, well, actually from young until they're adults as well. But typically, your females are bigger and they're always higher ranking than the males. So, just from the size of this animal, I would say a female. typical behavior for them just to walk down the road like this.